I love this, Mark. I'm so excited about this. I this I don't know why I've done this sooner. You know, we talk about photography a lot, and then you go, you get a really wonderful piece of, of photography, and you go to frame it, and you spend so much money on the framing, and you're like. Oh, it just keep it digital. So I won't hang it on my wall. So today, I stepped into the DIY department and I found out it's much more challenging there. My hat off to Dave Lowe and Orly right. and Paige and Ken, all those who come in and teach you stuff because there's a lot of step-by-step -step stuff going on. So I'm going to show you how to make a simple, it seems simple, it's just a square frame, which can cost you hundreds. I'm going to show you how to do it very cheaply. They on the up end of the hundreds. Yeah. Six, the, yeah. These frames here, for instance, those can yeah. be six or seven hundred dollars. This was, I did a study uh, in photography and macro photography and the frames around here. Now it's a little bit different than what this is. This is a little bit uh, more ornate. I think uh, it was, I know it was over 400. Exactly. It was, could have been a little bit more because of the mat, all of that together. And you're like, really? I know. Really? I know. It's so we're gonna expensive. do expensive. So the first thing you wanna do, this is what I'm gonna show you is not just for little frames that you wanna have sitting around. This is for that epic picture. This is that signature shot. This is of my fur boy, Fred. Oh, I so I picture. took this picture and I just loved it. And I have pictures of my kids out on a house, you know, and big, but it's a signature. So when you hang that in your house, it's what people see. Yeah, it's a so statement. Want, it's, it's a statement piece, but the frame will cost me a couple hundred bucks just to get it yeah, done. I'm like, no. So what do we need to, to make it more affordable? Very little. Good. Very little. Let me show you. Let me show you what we did. We got started earlier today. I found this really awesome MDF pre-primed wood at my hardware store. I got the router out. The router depth is set. This depth is the measurement of how thick your plexiglass is. How thick? Uh, add that to the picture of your. Uh, your um, I'm sorry, your mat board and your backing, and that's how you determine how deep it is. It's probably mm, about a half inch or so. So we make our router, and, and that's gonna be what's on the inside of our frame. So this is where that all sets inside. Now here's a really trick, inside uh, tip for you, is once you're gonna cut your 45 degree angles, only cut twice. Saw, uh, screw them all together, cut them all at the same time. That way you know they all line up and they're all the same angle. All exactly the same. That's a very good idea. So here they are, boom, it's coming together. How easy is this so far? By the way, the boards were nothing. So a little corner squares, here's what a tip for me too, is I don't want those corner things uh, to scratch my wall. So I use yeah. the router, route it out, I want them flush. Okay. So we did this, add a little glue to it, and we screw them in. Once they get screwed in, we add a little paint on the top of it. I, ch I like to do things top to bottom. I'll paint the back as well, Agreed. and I, like I used a too. satin finish. Now we're getting ready for the plexi. There's a rule, measure twice, cut once. Okay. So the plexiglass we measured, made sure it was exactly 32 by 32, because that's what the, the hole in the frame is. Debbie, when you cut plexiglass, this was my first time doing this. The first time it worked, the second time it didn't work, the third time it didn't work, oh, nor boy. the fourth. So what I learned is you have to make several passes at it and make sure you really <laughs> remove enough of the plexiglass to create a breaking point in the plexiglass. Because that's what happened the this first is, Yeah, this yeah. is what, I, I, I ruined this whole sheet because I can't really use it. Oh my God. It. So let me see if I can, I, I'll hold this. So what you're doing here is you're, you're using that tool and you're just basically gouging it. But I didn't take enough here to make the weakest point right here. And when I went to break it, it broke. In this so what you're position. saying is you really have to take your time. Take Don't your time and really, you could almost take it down to nothing. It's just all it is is like a claw hook that you're you're dragging through back the plexiglass. You take a little bit off at a time. So here it is. So let's just we're gonna put it together. We're gonna okay. make a sandwich. Okay. So pull this off for me if you will. All right. So this goes. Don't put now, your fingers in the go. plexiglass. Yeah, you try to. You want to at this point. You want to just kind of keep it as as um, clean and and uh, dust free as possible. So one thing that I did is this is a black and white picture. I like black and white. I think it says it's just Me classic too. and it brings a certain kind of statement. I but agree. I did do a color one. So we're going to see when we're finished here oh, okay. if we prefer the color or the black and white. So we're going to take the picture. Now the, the matting, we, we've done matting on the show before. Yeah. We're going to put on our website how you can go ahead and cut your own mat. Um, and save a lot of money because they Cause charge for is, that so as well. Too. And here's another little, a little tip to save you money. Just use foam core on the back. If you want, you can paint it. You don't have to. That's true. Um, and then, so the foam core sits in. And okay. here, instead of even paying for a lot of like fancy schmancy hardware stuff, you can just tape, use some black tape on the back because sometimes you might want to change out the picture, right? Exactly. So and here we're just going to really use, easy. you can use duct tape. This is gaffer's tape. Um, and put it on the side. And it still looks pretty, by the way, because it still matches the frame. It's so it back. It's look. the back. 
Exactly. Nobody's seeing it, you know? Yeah, true. I would, I would hit it, but again, this shows you too. This is a good example of how in the back, how we routed this out. So this will sit flush. Now, all we'd have left to do on this, Debbie, is to put hanging hardware, which we're not going to do at this point because depending upon how you want to do it, we have it on this one. But I saw that you used a miter saw. If I don't have yeah. one, can I, what, what a do you? A miter and a router. Okay. I know, look, we've, that's a great point. We asked you to, you know, these are tools that we use. These are big time purchases, mm -hmm. but you use them over and over and over again. So the money you would say, oh, I'd spend so much money on that miter saw. Do you know what I'm going to save you for using <laughs> one not frame? Kidding. And if you have two dogs, I've, you just doubled your savings. Same with the router. Yeah. So a nice Father's Day gift or Mother's Day Should gift look or at whatever. It? All right, I want to get your opinion if you like the color better okay. or the black or white better, okay? Okay, how much so, does this cost altogether? This, uh, this would cost you a couple hundred bucks. I did this for just under 60. Wow, just okay. Just under 60 All right, I'm going to stand okay. back so I can see it because they're go. big. Here we go. Let's see how Fred's going to look. Oh, my gosh. What do we do? Oh, I don't know What's because I like the, the saturation. Do you like the color or the black and white? Oh. Oh Clean boy, I'm reflection. usually partial to black and white photography, but I love the saturation and the way that you highlighted him. Yeah. So you like I'm the color? I'm gonna go for the color. Okay. I wanna see I wanna see Fred's. You can take blonde him home. Hair. You take Fred home, oh okay? Gosh. You take Fred home and hang out with I'm Fred. So excited. By the way, he needs to be fed twice a day. He's got an ear infection right now and he needs to be walked.